Hello lovely people, me and Gennaro are here. We're in my mobile pub, we've lit the wood oven. We're gonna make the most amazing pizza, aren't we? We're gonna do a porky. Now at James Italian, we never used to have pizzas, but all the customers kept asking, pizza, 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 you guys love pizza. So we thought, okay, well if we're gonna do it, we wanna do it properly. So wonderful artisan ingredients, really, really good. First up, uh, I'm gonna finely yeah. slice two cloves of garlic. Put some olive oil inside the pan. Turn the pan up. We go straight in with oh. the garlic. This will start to fry about 10, 15 seconds. As soon as that happens, go on, grab some basil, Janar. Look at that, and tear it in there, Janar. As soon as that starts to fry, right, we're gonna get the fragrance from the basil and the garlic. If you want to spike it with a little chili, that's fine. Put that in as well. We just shake the pan. And like we're 30 seconds in, then we go in with the tomatoes. Now these are already cooked, so we only need to reheat them. Always try and get the plum tomatoes, not the passata and not the chopped, right? But what you need to do is have a nice little helper. Like, you know, handsome, worldly, intelligent. I can, yes! I can pour my tomato sauce into his hands. They're clean hands, of course. And he's gonna scrunch them up. So in oh. we go, second one comes in. Look at that. If you don't want to use your hands, use a fork. Or a or potato masher. Or potato masher. Look, it's all done. So that just comes to the boil. We're done. We switch it off. You can use that on so many things with any pasta. Delicious. Also, you can have a little soup. Mash it everything up. Beautiful. Put Papa some pomodoro. Pa pa pomodoro with a lot of bread Tear inside. Up the bread. Yes. Delicious. Or this is alla piacere. Or in purgatory, you crack some eggs inside. On pizza, on pasta, al forno. Delicious. Now, let's turn this sauce into an integral ingredient of this pizza. Gennaro is sort of taking this beautiful ball of dough out and we're just stretching it by hand. Very simple. I'm going to take a wooden board, rub some flour in like that. Gennaro is going to put his pizza onto there. We're going to use a little bit of this beautiful homemade sauce. And don't forget the lovely oil. And then what we want to do is put on some incredible ingredients, some fantastic cured meats. We've got a pepperoni and a chorizo made by a lovely little startup called Cobble Lane Cure. The most amazing free range pork and they use traditional recipes uh, and they're making it in Islington, in London. And we sprinkle that on yes, top. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll crumble one and then we'll slice another. And of course, I got some spices in there. So that yes. leaches out as it cooks. Really, really nice. Next to it, we've got some pancetta, really thinly sliced as well. So we'll just put those on top because we want those to get nice and crispy. We've got some Parmesan going on top. And we've got a very special cheese here, Westcombe Jacks, okay? The perfect melting cheese. And this is made by Tom Calver at Westcombe Cheddar. So we put this on the pizza, we season it just a little bit like that. And then, are you going some chili, Janelle? Yes, this is a preserved chili. It give you that kick, but also it's because it's preserved, it gives an also different flavor. So just put them on top. Shake it a pizza. So in it goes. Yeah. And that'll take about four minutes to cook until it's golden and crispy. When it hits the heat like that, it really puffs up and you get that wonderful crispiness on the outside and that real spongy, fluffy hollowness on the inside. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook, let it cook now. Look at that. When it's like that, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just a little bit of the parmesan. And don't forget the lovely oil. <laughs> nice, crispy base. Shall we? Yeah, come on. Oh my gosh. You know what though? Yeah. We eat them up. Our, pi our I pizza chefs do it much better than we do. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think they do. Yeah, but they do. Oh gosh, look at that. It's really good. Mmm. 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 Really, really good. If you want to come and see us at James Italian, of course, just click the i button, see the information, come and see us and taste the porky, which is absolutely delicious with those wonderful artisan ingredients. And Gennaro, what else should we do now apart from eat it? Just eat it? Just eat it, generally, like we always do it. See you next time. Do you know what, I think I've got some pasta, we can have that one with the pasta as well. Also, perhaps we can do some little bruschetta, we can have that one bruschetta as well. Do you know what, let's bring to that kind of a soup. You know, and then uh, let's, let's cook inside me. Do you know, pizzaiola, just add a little bit of chili inside. Shall we do that? Let's do that.